Well, this is your last look and your last chance and the last show with Chef Ming tonight. And we have a brand new silhouette and it's brilliant. First off, I love the new hammered finish. I think that's rustic and adorable and charming and fabulous, way durable. But what you're really gonna love about this is now you can take your stovetop and make it basically a mini oven with this very unique, unique, beautiful pan. On top of that, it's so brilliant. You have a gorgeous high dome lid. There is a thermometer built in and there's a brand new revolutionary nonstick, not your everyday nonstick, something that is so new and so exciting. And tonight, of course, we're giving you the scoop about it. It is a nonstick that is made even better than ever before. In fact, you can now use metal utensils with your Ming Tsai uh, cookware. So what are we talking about? Well, here it is, the stovetop oven. We've got a couple colors left. Now, you know, as we get to the end of the day, it always happens. We start to lose colors actually relatively quickly during the day and we've done just that so let me go over your choices and then you'll meet chef you'll see what magic he's going to bring us from grilling we're even going to smoke in this how cool is that so smoking inside this revolutionary new design so there we go first one you're seeing here is pewter this is going to sell out mm, i don't know matt what are you thinking about two minutes <laughs> Yeah, you get about five minutes on this one. So this one is almost completely sold out. And look at that new hammered finish. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorites down below right here is the gorgeous copper bronze. Everybody loves it. Talk about rustic. But some of the most advanced non-stick technology that's ever been created is inside this beautiful rustic look. My favorite color, and it's what my Chef Ming pans are, will be the red. It is the most popular. We love the race car red. You can see it's beautiful. And and then finally, and this is such a beautiful color up here, we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous gold. I mean, talk about jewelry for your kitchen, but it's the magic of this brand new interior that's changing everything about how you cook in your kitchen. So let me tell you the whole scoop. You get the lid with the new thermometer. Obviously, you get this beautiful silhouette, double-handled. You get six recipe cards, and you're also going to get a roasting rack included with this. So we'll talk about that in just a moment as well. But first, enough about that. We got to see the man of the hour. Hello, chef. Hey, Suzanne. How are you? How are you? Okay, so I'm in the hallway two days ago, and they're right. setting up your, your pots and your pans are all out right. there. This is out there. And I did one of these things. Wait a minute, what is this? And immediately, <laughs> my eye was caught with a brand new hammered finish. It's awesome, right? It is gorgeous. It, it, they're gorgeous pans, but more importantly, they really work. Hard it's the, it's the coolest pan um, I think we've done so far. I do too. And the best way to, just like with the induction burner, I just want to show you why this is so cool. <laughs> Absolutely. So here's a classic searing steak technique. So simple. You sear a steak on one side, right, which I just got going. You flip your steak. First of all, I'll just notice that great color the steak has because with the ceramic coating, Technolon Plus on steroids, right? Yes. Technolon Plus Midnight Steel. What does that mean? Well, that means I can use metal tongs, right? That's right. In the pan. It's don't metal utensil safe. Don't scrape, right? Because be careful, but it's metal utensil safe. So here, normally I flip my steak and I would put my steak in the oven to finish because this is a thick steak. This is going to take about eight minutes in the oven. But... What I'm doing is says I flip the steak and now it's going into its oven because wow. I'm going to wait till this hits 350 degrees, which would have been the temperature of my oven, and do that for that same just, you know, eight minutes total. And I take the cover off, let the steaks rest, and the steaks are done. That so is that, crazy. that's how it's combining. And without the thermometer, I mean, we cheat a little bit here because we have an amazing induction burner that actually shows the exact temperature. True. But, but on a regular stovetop. On top. a regular stovetop with gas or electric or hell, you have no idea what the temperature is. This will read the internal temperature of this oven. That's, That's crazy. It. But you mentioned smoking. Yeah. And this may be perhaps one of the coolest, coolest aspects of this. Let me show you. So we have both, uh, actually we ran out of one, we right? Only so have oak. We only have oak. Yeah. We, we did have hickory, right? Cameron's chips. Look at this. You put just a little dusting like this. Now right? these are designed for indoor. This is, for these indoor. are smoking chips designed for indoor And notice use. how quickly it starts to smoke. Oh, I put so foil cool. here 
and then I add my salmon. Why do I put foil? I put foil because when the salmon drips down, I don't want that oil putting out my smoke. Okay. So now I cover it. Oh, look the, at it. The most ideal temperature for hot smoking is 250. Okay. So I'm gonna watch this until this hits 250, and if this is gonna be about nine minutes, wait till you try this salmon. It is freaking unbelievable. I've heard about it all day long. It's Everybody's so raving about good. that. Okay, if you would like to get the, the indoor wood chips that are uh, available, we have 500 left. And my producer, Matt, he said those are gonna be sold out in just a second, but they're specifically designed to work indoors. So they're very low smoke, but they get you just that lovely little touch of smokiness to the flavor. Right. Beautiful. Brie cheese. Yeah, right? love it. Puff pastry, sometimes you bake in the oven, it's awesome. You're gonna love this. This Get is smoking already go. Smoked brie cheese. Oh my it gosh. is so good. Do you know good. my husband has done that on the grill, but it takes forever. Big right. wood chips. Never would I do it, think oh, I could do it wait, indoors. Wait till you try this, it's oh, awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. No, what, what do we do here? So, wow. this is the extender ring. Right? And what that extender ring does is that it makes kind of the oven bigger because underneath you have the rack. Which is included. So even with this huge tall bowl, you can still put the cover on, right? Well, that is a big bowl. Oh, it's a, you'll, you'll see. So without the extender rack, you wouldn't be able to do this, right? Now, Check unfortunately, that. the extender rack is sold out. Oh, is it? Yeah. It, it's so overrated, this extender rack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's fine. <laughs> but, okay, but I, do, I do love the extender rack, honestly. All right, let's flip this. Well, when this. it's back in stock, how about that, Exactly. Chef, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the most amazing cake that these guys started making here what kind at of cake HSN. Is it? What is it? Chocolate. It's the impossible, it's the impossible chocolate, chocolate. chocolate. cake. And it's that was in the, you did put it in. You can bring it out of the oven? Okay, no, no, yeah. no. This was the steamed crazy. on the stove this top. Oh, the, it's steamed on the stove top. It's wow, on the crazy. Top. Look at this. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, that's a thing of so beauty right there. It's reverse. It's, it's the, the cream, the creme anglaise, or the, the um, cream's up top and the chocolate's on the bottom because we flipped it. <laughs> but when right? you make it, you put the chocolate in the bowl first, right. the flan on top, and as it cooks, they reverse. That's, oh, do they really? Yeah. Oh, that's so okay, cool. Just, that's why it's going, but, take, but look at this. So really what you're doing is, for the very first time ever, and no one's ever done this before, your stove top becomes your oven when you want it to be. Oh. And you know what's really interesting? We talk about it a lot, but I have to tell you, Chef, just the shape and the size of just the pan alone, I'm in love. Right. Like this is such a deep, nice shape. It's beautiful. It's beautiful for serving. It looks great when you're cooking with it. And then if you need a stove top, if you want an oven on your stove top, it's this simple. Right. How easy, you don't have to heat up the oven. Right. You don't have to heat up all the burners on your stove. You just literally put the lid on and all of a sudden this converts into a mini oven and, on your stove top. And, be, and the fact that it's domed means, and you'll see with the extender ring, you can do a whole prime rib. Now, a big piece of meat you're gonna throw into the oven, right? Because right. it's gigantic. Right. Um, but oh. something like this, these are done from raw. Okay, that's crazy. These are just smoked pork chops with smoked acorn squash and no tomato. Way. They are so delicious. And you know with the lid on, it's not generating a wild amount of smoke at oh, all. Oh, not at all. Yeah. Not like, at all. So this would be something, a technique you could do easily in your kitchen. I mean, not I, I always talk about, you know, you are what you eat, right? Sure. And, you know, you gotta worry about logically how much salt and sugar and whatnot. I'm always as a chef saying, okay, what can we do to make something still taste good? That's acid, lemon juice, lime juice, vinegar. Smoke is another ingredient without any guilt you can add to food. It makes it taste better, doesn't add one calorie, uh, it's great. And then with these little this little smoking chips, it's fantastic. Okay, and Chef, you were just working with the pewter. If you want yes. the pewter, I have 190 left. So the pewter's the next to sell out. We'll be down to three colors. So if you saw this earlier with Chef, and you're, I love the fence, you know, I love people who are the fence sitters. You're like, okay, that is one of the most brilliant ideas in the world, right? And you're going, oh, should I get this? I would highly recommend, we're gonna do this presentation and the next, and we expect everything to sell out before midnight and please remember if we happen to have any left it's not 49.95 in a couple of hours literally in two hours it goes up to almost $100 we have great for flex pay on this that'll be eliminated at midnight but if you really want to try chef's line if you say hey you know what I want a pan that's so unique and unusual I can serve a salad out of it I can grill I can smoke I can oh. saute I can bake we really haven't talked about it but yes you can bake in here Sorry, either I'm stove making top noise or oven. Here, that is a good noise but I'm 
Okay, good. That's, look you at got that. my attention. Look at that. Oh my God. I mean, that's that's, wow. that's such a great piece of pork. That's beautiful. But well, look how tall this is, right? If this was in a pan with a flat lid, no way, it. It would, you couldn't do it, right? right? So you have to have that dome lid. So this pan is also, could do a huge quantity. Yeah. So sear, smoking, steaming, roasting, and of course, as you see me make fried rice, this is going to be even a healthier fried rice than you see me make. You can use this pan just as a normal wok, right? It has the shape of a wok, yeah, sure. or what's called a sauteuse, which the French do. And here's just my normal scrambled eggs, right? And yes, that's a fork, which is fine. Scrape the eggs, right? You want the eggs to cook. And this fried rice is going to be healthier than the ones I've been making lately because what we're going to do is add all of these great vegetables, raw vegetables, yellow squash, zucchini, bell peppers, carrots, all of this raw in. And then I have, like any good Chinese household or a lot of households now in the world, we have leftover rice. Right? Oh, is there? Yeah, yeah. We always have Absolutely. leftover rice, right? Absolutely. I mean, next in household in town, they have it as well, but we yeah. always grew up always. with leftover rice. And this is leftover, just a combo uh, house rice. Okay. Little, my favorite shiitake. It's a vegetarian, um, kind of like oyster sauce, made from shiitake mushrooms. And this is done. I'm just going to cover this and let the pan do the rest. That's Cause cool. Because what's going to happen is all the fresh vegetables are going to start exuding water. That creates the steam, and that will cook the rice. You mix it, you're done. Is this, this, see, isn't that brilliant? Also, too, I love the fact you grab that fork and you never let go of it. So yeah, he no. didn't even care. Most of the time, when chef comes on, even with his regular nonstick, you got to be a little careful with it. But I love it, chef. You just grab that fork. You didn't even think about it. You just used the fork oh, yeah, and said, no. oh, I'm and just going to use it. And that's the new feature and about this Midnight Steel. You fork. guys, if you have, and I have before too, I have Chef Ming's cookware. I love it. If you love that nonstick, imagine now it's revolutionary in terms of that it's so much better. It yeah. is such a next step, a next level up in nonstick that yes, dishwasher safe, but it doesn't matter because you just wipe it out. Yes, you can now use metal utensils. We've never been able to say that before. For, but this is the and it's ceramic nonstick, which is yeah. the buzz. Everybody talks about and, this. And it's not just ceramic nonstick; it's, it's midnight steel. steel. That's, yeah. It's the hardest ceramic coating in the world today. Amazing. Period. Absolutely amazing. And, and please don't forget that ceramic coating is not all about nonstick. It's so hard and dense that means it helps conduct the heat evenly, which oh. is why that steak cooked evenly everywhere. Oh, that's interesting. And here's one. I, want, I want you guys to see just the interior of this. Isn't this? It's absolutely stunning. This is a game changer for you. What does it do? It makes your life easier. First off, you're going to cook more and more versatile than ever before because of this very unique design. Second, the cleanup is a breeze. You're not soaking pans ever again. Right. And nobody wants to soak dumb pans and wake up the next morning and go, great. First thing you have to do is yeah. scrub a bad pan. No. That ends right here and right now. And I'll tell you what, if I just came out, Chef, we could come out every day, all day long, bring out this brand new hammer design that I am beyond nuts over. You guys are going to go crazy when you see this amazing texture. If I just brought this out, it's a 12-inch pan with the latest and strongest ceramic nonstick on the face of the earth. How much would you spend if you went to a gourmet store, like a gourmet kitchen shop? Oh. This pan would be a couple of hundred dollars, oh, uh, yeah, right? Easily. Exactly. Now, let's make it a stove. Let's make it an oven on our stove by this wild unique brand new lid that has a special job to it. It's going to change your stovetop into a mini oven. I just, I am so excited about this chef. Yeah, and you know what? You, but too. you know what's neat is that once again, you know, you look at things so differently. He actually has an engineering, you studied engineering, right? Yeah, I did. And um, you, you bring that to this design. You can see it clearly in this design because of yep. adding the thermometer inside there. How clever is that? It's, it's just a way of maximizing what you have in your kitchen. And <laughs> look at that, excuse me, look at the amount of ribs. Wow. This this also is an accessory. And it's available, by the so way. So <laughs> that, that, that's how much is a tablespoon of the smoke. That's all we use. You're so when it's, me. when it's completely done, it's black, right? Yeah. Again, you want the foil so the, the fat you see doesn't hit it and keeps smoking. But look at that color that smoke gave these. Oh. I mean, here, you should just. Yeah, thank you. I was hoping you'd hand yeah. me. I didn't want to, I didn't want to get no, my no, hand no, in front you, of you. You'd be the only <laughs> host. You'd be the only host that doesn't go in and grab stuff. I was, was going to bump you over and get me. It won't be the last time. Oh my gosh. But the smoke <gasps> is so good, right? It's That's a very shocking. 
There's well, shopping. What do you mean that's and shocking? I've cooked my whole life. This is what I do. I'm a no, chef. Who oh, oh, would have found you could <laughs> smoke oh, indoors? Okay. Yes, it's I know. Smoking indoors. You're so funny. But you know what's really neat? It's subtle, too. Yeah. It's not an overwhelming, it's totally heavily subtle. Oh, my gosh. That's a beautiful thing. So, <laughs> searing, doing beautiful cakes, ribs, pork. You can also go super healthy. Again, this extender ring is fantastic to get a lot of massive food going. <laughs> Steaming is a fantastic way you know, of cooking, right? You're just teasing people with that ring. Everybody get rid of the rings on the set if you want, Oh, yeah, please. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. People at home going, I'll get that. No, you won't. Well, see, yeah, Unfortunately, good point. you have to wait until we get it back in stock. But if you got it, here's another idea for you if you got it earlier. Hey, and by the way, that's a funny tip, though. If you want that little V-rack you saw or you want the wood chips, all the matching pieces back to our today's special are basically almost sold out, i.e. the extender ring, unfortunately, is gone. But you know what? Let's just talk about having that yeah. rack and being able See to this steam. Up. Look at this. So there's a little color on these, a little bit dark. It's not because of soy sauce. It's because we added tea leaves to the water. No because, kidding. Because water has no That's flavor. Clever. I don't care where you're from. Water has no flavor. Right? So by adding tea, this veg and this chicken was actually steamed in tea. That's awesome. And this has no added fat. The only fat is in the chicken breast without skin, which is so little. Can the veg smell this? Oh, That's absolutely. So cool. And the best thing to do oh. is just a little bit of acid. Lemon juice, lime juice, really? or vinegar. That's going to be an incredibly, incredibly healthy dish. This smells amazing. What Lemon. kind of tea did you use? Uh, it's jasmine. Largely really? jasmine. Really? No kidding. Right. Wow. And then, of course, here. Ooh. You, you so can't. happy you I mean, did a oh mac and cheese. Look how and much the crew mac and is cheese. always really happy oh about this God. one. <laughs> look how much there is. So this I'm just going to pour out. I mean, this is so a big capacity in this silhouette, isn't it? Gooey. Look at, that. look at this. Is your mouth yeah. watering yet? Oh I know it is. Oh, my God. Look at I that. I know. Oh, baby. Wait, what's your favorite cheeses for mac and cheese? Gruyere, by yes. bar none. I mean, straight Gruyere is great. Sometimes there's parm, sometimes there's other stuff, but Gruyere is my go-to cheese. It? Yeah, because it melts well and it has that great saltiness uh, and that great funk of a cheese that I like. Gotta love it. But Gotta look how much, it. I mean, can we just talk about quantity? It's a lot of mac and cheese. Well, and, how many people you think you're feeding And there's our cocon. Oh my God, you're feeding 10? Yeah, easily. Right? Got, can you hold this for a second, yep. Chef? Look at this. I just want to show you, this isn't a bowl bowl. This isn't a little cereal bowl. It is a huge bowl. So all all of that came out of this gorgeous silhouette. Yes, yep. I'll take it back. Thank you. Um, oh, sorry. But, no, it's okay. But I just wanted you guys to see. So I think sometimes when you're at home, you lose perspective on what a bowl size is right. on television. That is a serving bowl. All right, so look at this. Again, I just want to show you. And Matt, do me a favor. How many do we have left in the pewter? I'm going to run over here, guys. Okay, so let me go over here, guys, real quick. Because unfortunately, that pewter, yeah, I'm going to show it to you one more time. Because after this little update, we're not going to have it anymore. So if you want the pewter, I'm going to hold it still, believe it or not, guys. I know it's unusual for me. Can I get a second? I just want to show up really close, especially this hammered finish. It stopped me in my tracks the other day. I run around the studio like a chicken with my head cut off, and I literally saw this and came to a complete halt. This hammered textured effect is rustic and charming and beautiful and yet crazy durable. Look at the bottom of the pan, too. That helps with the way it cooks, the way it heats, how even the heating is. It's gorgeous. And then obviously it's brilliant lid. So there's your last look. Now, here's an issue. I think the gold is amazing. To have gold in your kitchen, it's like having gorgeous gold jewelry. You know, how often do your eye, does your eye just go to that beautiful piece of gold that you see on, on somebody's wrist? Well, now imagine your kitchen looking like this. Now, a little heads up. If you really want to overhaul your collection, I have a six-piece cookware set coming up that will match back to this, and that will be breathtaking. If you've got a bride getting married, you want to give an amazing cookware set, get the six-piece, get our today's special. I'm telling you, you have basically every piece pan you'll ever need. Then the red. Red's always the number one seller. It happens to be the color that I have. Again, I have the matching hammered six piece coming up. We have an eight quart stock pot coming up in the hammer that's going to sell out. So stick around because if you're following in love with this, if you're following in love with this brand new nonstick ceramic, it's called Midnight Steel. It is the most nonstick, most durable ceramic that's available on the market today. And again, Chef has utilized it inside here. Why? Easy clean up and you can just use it. You don't have to baby it. You can use metal utensils for the first time. And then down below, this is the copper bronze. If you love that French style kitchen, that very traditional kitchen, if you just love the color of copper because it's so rich and beautiful, think of a beautiful shiny copper penny, how attractive that is. That is the copper bronze. So right now we've sold almost 9,600 today. Why get it tonight? Because, well, you know what? You can wait if you'd like, but at midnight, it goes to $99. And I don't know. I don't want to spend 
$199. If I can only spend $49, that's pretty good. All right, Chef, what are you working on now? So, remember the steaks we started with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Seared one side, flip it, cover on, 350 roast, wow. let it rest. Look at that. Oh my God. Perfect medium all the way through. These were the onions and shiitakes, and they were, those got caramelized, and then all I did was just add two pats of butter to just give this extra unctuousness and umami. And hello, that's all you need. Steak and mushrooms. I grew up eating this. That's, that is amazing. And again, you did that. it not in the oven. You created an oven. Right. Because this converts to an oven. And then here, clean up is such a breeze. And you take all the, I gotta get these mushrooms out. And this pan's ready to go again, Isn't that right? Funny? That's funny. By the awesome. way, it also doesn't retain stra sta uh, stains. No, look right? at this though. What Check is this? this? What out. is this? Oh, oh my, my gosh, is this God. salmon? Look at that oh, salmon. Oh, you guys got to see this. You have to look at right? that. Now that went in raw just a couple of minutes ago. Oh yeah, and check that. I got maybe. my fork. Fork alert. Look, Check I found this. a fork. Okay, wait, wait. Boom. Chef, like that. that looks amazing. Now this right. is with the smoking feature. If you missed out, you have these little indoor smoking chips. And I know, Matt, we have, what, maybe 300 left in those? We can't have hardly anything. I yeah, mean, last call. But you literally, can you show them you use this as a smoker? Yeah, so you're the oh, rack. Oh, yeah, get gosh. in there. Oh, please. Actually, I'm going to, I want to slice so people can see what this looks like inside. Oh, chef. Yeah. Right? Oh, my gosh. But look how moist it still is. Isn't that oh, amazing? That's amazing, right? That smoky taste. It's right? just perfect, look at that. you guys. Oh, my God, I love this. I want to make sure you guys can really see how oh, perfectly the cooked. Of and that. that's perfectly that's cooked. It's Don't still hot, it's yeah. smoky, but oh. that's a perfect, for me, I mean, I hate when salmon's completely pink. I want a little bit of that translucency. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. a little bit. But just that little hint of smoke, and yes, this can smoke. Right. Indoor smoking for the very first time in a beautiful silhouette that you can oh. use every single day. Oh, look at the brie. Oh, look at that. I love smoke brie. <laughs> right? I have to be honest I mean, with you, I come love on. smoke brie. Come on, baby, that is come so to mama. And notice we don't have smoke bellowing around the studio. You wouldn't even know that was smoking until you took the lid off. Isn't yeah, that funny? It, right. You don't but even notice it. Watch this, though. Oh, oh. Hey, we're talking about molten chocolate <laughs> cakes, but hello. Oh, my gosh. That right? looks so good. Here you go. I'll give you a okay. little. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You have to try he this. He knows I'm hungry. Well, it's just the smokiness, okay. the rind and all that cheese. I mean, look how good that looks. Mm. It elevates oh a gosh, normal chef. piece of brie to a level that's unbelievable. Chef, that is un right? that really is unbelievable. It's so good. I oh. love it. I love it. That's insane. Get the smoky chips. Get the little chips before they're gone because I that's crazy. You. So again, because of this rack, this rack you use to smoke. This rack also you can oh, steam on. Right? Yep. And this is why I love the induction burner. Because if I was actually eating at home on a Sunday, I would actually take this whole thing with the burner, with the pan, and put it in the middle of the table. Wouldn't that be fun? And have it on low. And then you just could eat your dim sum like you wish. And by the way, take this to the table, yeah. e even without the burner. It's gorgeous. Because you have hot water that's going to keep it hot. And then maybe if your, your teenager is still sleeping, he comes down to, at an hour later, it's still going to be hot. Yeah. Right? But and I mean, look how beautiful this is just as on its own. If it didn't smoke, if it, if it wasn't a mini oven on your stovetop, Right. Just for $49.90, I'm all in on this. Right. Really, when you oh, think sure. about it. And by the rack. way, if you look at this, this is why it can't be a flat top. If it's a flat top, it would smush them. Sure. That's sure. why you have to have, have the, the dome, dome lid. lid. Which also, you know, there's this the one big uh, outdoor thing called the egg. My that works on indirect heat. It hits the top and comes down, just like a tandoori oven. Same thing here. Heat hits here and goes back down. That's great. Does that mean Keeps you're cooking it. quicker as well? More efficiently. More yeah. efficiently. Less exactly. energy and, and Less more energy. Efficient. Okay, exactly. very good. All right, so again, Peter almost gone. We've got the race car red with the beautiful gold that's insanely gorgeous. And of course, that bronze copper that's so pretty. Oh, it is gone. Oh, okay, guys, sorry. Peter is now completely sold out. Now, again, please remember, and, and I will tell you, we knew this was going to be a really fun show tonight. I promise you, we have really cool stuff coming up. But if you want our today's special, now's the perfect time to get it. I am down to three choices only. And you know what? Don't 
don't spread over the color. I have red just because when I bought mine a long time ago, I bought your walk, right? Right. And you a know I love ago. that thing. A long time Four ago. Four years ago, basically. You know what? Red was the only color available, and I went, okay, I'm going to wear use red. And you know, right. to this day, I totally love it. I, I actually admire looking at it in my kitchen. I actually leave it out, Chef. I don't put it away. Right. That's how beautiful the pans are. And that's with the original brilliant nonstick. The nonstick in the new Hammered Collection is revolutionary, and it's also evolutionary. Yes. It is the strongest, most durable, efficient nonstick in the ceramic world. And everybody wants ceramic because it's a great, great surface to cook on, but now you get what's called the midnight steel finish, which means heats better, cooks easier, cooks faster, yes. and the cleanup is a snap. So again, because we're busy, I would absolutely not wait until Chef's final look at this, because unfortunately, we're going to lose more colors while we move on. So just stay right there for the three colors that are left. Also, too, I know it's floating around here somewhere, but Chef, 